So it's just been announced that there's going to be a four day bank holiday weekend for the Queen's Jubilee. What the? What the? I just don't get this. So um, before I get into this, I can't believe it. Um, nothing against the Queen. Good honour for getting to the Jubilee. Amazing servant to the nation. But we don't need two more bank holidays when the country is already on the edge of probably a depression. And we're trying to fight our way out of lockdowns and restrictions and in increase in inflation and taxation, a massive increase in cost of living and many businesses struggling to survive. And now they go and announce that there's two more bank holidays this year. Right, so listen to this. Jan the 3rd bank holiday, Friday the April the 15th bank holiday, Easter Monday, May bank holiday, Spring bank holiday, a four-day bank holiday in June for the Queen's Jubilee, Summer bank holiday, Boxing Day, Christmas Day, 27th this says, it's a substitute Christmas Day bank holiday. There's freaking 12 days of bank holidays this year. To me, that's outrageous. How are we going to get the economy going again? How are we going to protect people's jobs? How are we going to increase our earning ability, whether it's as an employer or an employee? How are we going to increase production, increase the supply chain if we keep having more and more and more and more bank holidays? What the fuck is going on? We don't need more bank holidays. We need more economy. We need more jobs. We need more production. We need more increase in supply. We definitely don't need more time for people to do a lot less. So Jamie has just said 3.3% of the entire year is now bank holiday. Add to that weekends. <laughs> we... How are we going to get out of this? What, we just, oh yeah, let's just all have bank holidays all the time. It'll all be all right. The government will look after us. The government aren't looking for us. Now, now Ian has said, spend more on the bank holidays. Now, okay, look, some companies, some employers obviously do well on bank holidays. Some, but not most. Not most. And some bank holidays, fine. Just not 12 in a year. Right, so here's what's going on in the world right now. We, you now need four jabs. We almost went into lockdown again. They're definitely now making it more strict to travel. Um, and, you, you know, you've got to wear masks and you've got to have vaccine passports. And, you know, they basically shut business down in the UK in December. They can say they didn't. Oh, well, you didn't have to have a vaccine passport if you had a lateral flow, flow test. But they basically made it virtually impossible for most businesses, retail, leisure, travel, etc. Pubs, bars, clubs, restaurants, gyms. They all got, abs yeah, soft lockdown. They all got absolutely smashed in December and Jan. And what was done for it? Oh, a few of those companies could have a £6,000 grant. That's nothing. That doesn't even scratch the surface. So all that happened, yet that is still 20%. Corp tax has gone from 19 to 25%. Income tax is still really high. Inflation is um, going up dramatically. Um, cost of food, fuel, energy, etc. gone way up. Cost of the things that you buy, the production's gone way up because of the, the lack of supply. Interest rates are going up. Everything's going up. Yet there's more bank holidays. I mean, who's fucking running? The, who's deciding this? To me, it seems absolutely crazy. Now, I've been on a mission, a campaign to support small businesses. More bank holidays help a small amount of small businesses and hurt a big amount of small businesses. I personally don't believe that more bank holidays is the solution. So if you would like to make a difference, please share this video. Now, the campaign I'm doing to support small businesses is where I'm asking people to share my content and I'm asking them to tag in a small business owner. Do you know anyone who runs a small business who got shut down, locked down or inability to trade, lost a load of trade through sort of November, December, Jan, and is really struggling? Hairdressers, gym owners, pubs, bars, clubs, hotels, restaurant, travel, leisure, retail, local boutique on the high street. Where's the support for them? So hit the share button. Tag in a company 
And if you have a small business, please promote yourself on my live video. So Karen Jitter said bank holidays are great. For what, though? What are they great for? I'm, I mean, we should have holidays. I get that. I probably would take less holidays than most. But I get that people need holiday, need a bank holiday. Do we need 12 bank holidays a year? Uh, all right. Are bank holidays great for kickstarting the economy? Are they great for getting us out of a potential depression? Are they great for the small businesses? Most of, some of them they're good for. Most of them they're not. Really? Really? So, look, I, I have not really been able to comment on if what's happening in the government from policy and the mandates are right or wrong. I don't think that most of us have got enough information. You can share with me what, how you think that the government are handling this. But um, to me, having more bank holidays is not the solution. To me, supporting small businesses and creating more economy, more jobs, more production. Like, do you want the, your cost of food to go up and up and up and up and up? Because if you don't, there needs to be a, a, a better supply chain again because the supply chain got cut. Everything that you buy, do you want the prices to go up and up and up and up and up? The re one of the reasons the prices are going up and up and up and up is because the lack of production and the lack of supply. And we don't produce and supply on bank holidays because everything is shut. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Jeez. So, summary. Four-day bank holiday and announced for the Queen's Jubilee. I'm really pleased for her. 70 years and she's done a great job at what she does. Nothing against the Queen. But we don't need more bank holidays. We need to kickstart the economy. Otherwise, you're going to see hundreds of thousands of small business owners go down. You're going to see increase in national debt. You're going to see increase in unemployment. You're going to see increase in taxation. It's just going to go on and on and on and on. And a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, more bank holidays. Yeah, yeah, mental health. Oh, yeah, we just all need to relax. You wait till we're in the cold depth of a depression. And then let's see if this is good. And there's no support. So bank holidays will support a few businesses, but the masses who can't trade on those or won't trade. I don't get it. Enlighten me. Tell me something that I'm missing. I'm, I'm, I, I'm always up for debate. I always read the comments. I'll always look to educate myself. If I'm missing out on some things here, let me know. But um, I'm campaigning to support small businesses. So step one, hit the share button. If you have a small business or anyone you know has a small business, you must stand up and you must speak out. And a lot of people aren't. But um, if it's harder to trade because of lockdowns and vaccines and passports and, you know, soft lockdowns, if it's hard to trade, if that's the right thing to do, fine. But then you need to reduce that, reduce corp tax, reduce income tax, reduce business rates. And you need to increase our ability to trade. And none of those trade is getting decreased. But taxes aren't going down. They're going up. And cost of living isn't going down. It's going up. And inflation isn't going down. It's going up. And interest rates aren't going down. They're going up. It's like we're getting smashed six ways. Come on, sort it out. Sort it out. So we need to support the small business. Hit the share button. Tag a small business or someone you know who's an entrepreneur in the comments. And whatever it is that you do, the, the business, the product, the service that you have, shout yourself out. Hit a link in the comments. I've had thousands of people who have promoted their small business in my videos because that's the way I can make a difference. I'm not going to get a, a, I'm not going to get 100,000 signatures and walk into Parliament. It's going to do nothing. I wrote to my MP. It did nothing. But I can do this and you can do this and we can have a voice together. And if you think I'm wrong, let's discuss and debate because I'm prepared to be wrong. I'm probably not always right and I'm probably not 100% right. And these are good opportunities for us to learn. I can see that, you know, certain um, companies will do well in um, a bank holiday. I just think most won't. And what we need is an increase. We need an increase in supply again. We need an increased supply of energy. We need an increased supply of food. All the things that you probably don't like that are going way up in cost. The main reason is because we've had a reduction in supply, a reduction in production. We need to increase production. And if we have more bank holidays, then there's no production on bank holidays virtually. If we work from home, there's no production in, in the factories. Hit the share button. Let me know what you think. Tag a small business in. Pitch yourself in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions. Stand with me. Support the small business. Protect the small business. A lot of people are like, oh, yeah, this is great. More bank holidays. Oh, yeah, this is great. Work from home. Because they're being selfish. Because they want an easy life. 
Easy now, hard later. More bank holidays now, more working from home now, easy now, hard later. When your tax is 90%, like it was in the 70s, are you going to like that? Because my tax is already 70%. That corp tax, income tax, and tax on everything I buy, for every pound I earn and spend combined, I'm paying 70% in tax. And I don't see taxes going down. It can't. How are the government going to pay for the lockdowns and the COVID and the vaccinations? How are they going to pay for it all? They're the, they're, the, they're the public sector. They get it off the private sector. They're going to get it off us. They're going to get it off you and me. So if, if, if I'm paying 70% in the pound now, I could be paying 80, 80 pence in the pound in a year or two. Do you want to be paying 80 or 90 pence in the pound? If you don't hit the share button and if you don't start speaking out, And don't take the easy route. Oh, yeah, I'll have a few more bank holidays. Oh, yeah, I'll work from home. Produce more. Work more. Create more. Kickstart the economy again. Honestly, I'm not Dr. Doom. I'm actually interviewing Dr. Doom later. Peter Schiff, who's been on Joe Rogan four times. They call him Dr. Doom. I'm not Dr. Doom. I'm realistically optimistic. I think there's going to be great opportunities in 2022 and beyond. But fucking hell, someone's got to warn us about all of this because not enough people are warning us about this. And there's not enough resistance to to policy, especially financial and economic policy. There's not enough resistance. There's not enough accountability. The government are a monopolistic corporation. There's no competition. They can trade insolvently, legally. We can't. There's competition. There's 20 or 30 or 50 other providers that do what we do. So we have to constantly improve and innovate and evolve and reinvest into products and services. The government don't. There's no competition. There's no accountability. They can do what they want. We can't. There's accountability. Our customers, our clients, our community, our reputation. The government's a faceless entity. It's a monopolistic corporation that doesn't have to trade solvently. It can legally, legally trade insolvently. We can't. How do we hold them accountable? I'm not saying I'd do any better in government. I'm not saying that it's all wrong. I'm just saying that if we have more bank holidays and more working from home, While cost of living and inflation and interest rates and taxes are all going up, that does not add up. And it will be hard later, I'm telling you. Hit the share button, rant over, tag your small business in the comments, let me support you, let me help you get business, and tag in other small businesses and let them get business, because the best way we get through this is to trade out of it. It's not to go on bloody Jubilee jubilee four-day bank holidays, I can tell you that. Love you all. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. These are divisive times. These are Darwinian times. Do not be naive about this.